guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're in a 2004 Ford Taurus. Uh, my brother-in-law said he put uh, Freon in it and it's still not, uh, it's not blowing cold air. So let's check it out and see what's going on. Okay guys, so I got the car sitting here running. We're gonna turn the AC on. As you can see, that air is blowing up. It's only, it's blowing 71 degrees. Almost 72, about 71 and a half degrees is what that air's blowing. I got it on max, everything's maxed out. See, so you can raise your temperature up here. So, all right. Now, he said that his gauge was reading full now I checked his gauge I'm gonna see if I can't find my gauge but right down here right down there's where you put that on so I'm gonna put this gauge on here and check his gauge and then I'll see if I can find mine is down there and it is working but I see a can of this 134A alright I see a can of this Arctic Freeze stop leak he told me he put stop leak in it and I see a can of this refrigerant with stop leak there's three cans and I know this car would not take this many cans. So I don't know if maybe put too much of that with the stop leak in or what. But uh, I gotta get some of that out of there. So let me go see if I can find my stuff. Okay guys, I went and got me a new gauge. I got some Freon and I want to check it. I, I removed a bunch of that out. If you can hear it, that's the pump kicking on and off. The, uh, the air conditioner compressor. So I had to remove a lot of that out of there. And hardly any, hardly any of the refrigerant came out. Because uh, it had two cans of that stop leak in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check it now and hopefully it'll read low. This is the low pressure side. I'll get you down here to where you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that back off. I'm gonna screw my can on here and we're gonna add some refrigerant. Okay, so this is what I'm using here. And I'm just gonna screw this on. 
Now the right way to do this is to run a vacuum on it. I found my vacuum pumps, my vacuum pump, but I couldn't find my gauges to pull a vacuum on it. Cause hope, so hopefully this will be all right. Now we're gonna stick this on here. Here we're gonna squeeze this. We're gonna squeeze the handle for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time. You want to shake the can and just kind of move it back and forth like this. I feel the can starting to get cold. And the pump is already staying on longer. So. Up there. I want it to be between 35 and 40. So. You don't want to dump it upside down because you want the gases to go in, not the liquid. See the pump's staying on a lot longer now. What I think it was, even though it said it had refrigerant in it, I think he had too much stop leak in it. There, we're getting up there. This can's getting cold. That's good. And you want to keep this away from any heat. You want to keep your can away from any heat. We're getting up there. Then we'll check the temperature of what's coming out of the, the air vents. Because it was what, what was it, 71, 72 degrees. I did get it down when I let some of that stuff out of there, that uh, stop leak out. I got it down to uh, 61 or 62, so that went down 10 degrees just by letting that stuff out. So that was telling me then it didn't have enough cooling in it, so... But the right way to do this is use your gauges and a scale and it'll tell you on here on one of these stickers right up there where like how how much weight you're supposed to put in see we're almost up to 30 now and hopefully we'll get it down into the 50s the third 29 right now like I said I want it to be between 35 and 40 so I'm, I'm going to try to get it up to 40 so I'm going to keep doing this until we get it up there and then we'll check the temperature what's coming out of the uh, air vents okay so I got it on 40 See, when you squeeze that trigger, it goes down and it puts some more in. You just turn it like that, maybe shake it a little bit. Don't turn it upside down. So it's on 40 there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go in and see what the temperature is coming out of the vents. Okay, we're back in the car. We got it down to 57.9. 58 degrees. This thing will only go down to 60. That's as low as you can turn it down, so. All right, I think we got it. I'm gonna let it sit here and run a while. And uh, everything should be all right. Okay, so we got that fixed. Uh, I, that's all they needed done on it. 
but it's holding steady at 57 point eight looks like so she should be pretty good with that it's blowing some super cold air like I said you can only turn that down to 60 degrees on this this is a 2004 Ford Taurus so yeah it should be alright so like I said I'm going to let it run make sure everything's okay I think he just had even though it says refrigerant you shouldn't have to put two cans that's two 12 ounce cans of just just um, of just a stop leak that's 24 ounces um, that's too much I, I mean just to begin with well you saw the gauge it was maxed I mean it was way over and like I said as soon as I I started taking some out no refrigerant came out at all um, what I did was I hit the button to see what came out a little, well a little bit of refrigerant came out and then it was all green stuff all that green which is also a leak detector all that green stuff came out started coming out and I knew there wasn't enough uh, refrigerant refrigerant in it to um, take care of it so you know I mean it had pressure of course because it had stuff in it but it didn't have the Freon that it needed in it so I think it's gonna be alright now I'll give her a call later and tell her I think it's alright yeah like I said I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and I'm getting kinda of chilly so it's um, you know the cabin of this car is pretty big so um, yeah I think it's going I, th I think everything's gonna be alright so it's holding between 57 and 59 so and like I said it'll only go down to 60 degrees here so that's all it's gonna let it come down is right in there so it's gonna be fine I believe so anyway there you guys go um, yeah I just drained that let that green stuff come out there wasn't any refrigerant coming out of it I just put a rag around a screwdriver and kind of kept touching it in there until I got it down to where the pump was kicking on and off then I knew it was low so then you know I figured if I put 12 ounce in that's what I did it took about that 12 I'm gonna say it took about 10 ounces of it so and it put it what was it four yeah 40 pounds so yeah that should be all right so yeah it's uh it's holding pretty steady at about 58.1 right now like I said that can only go down to 60 so I think it'll be fine all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate it if you got a full system and you have to you have to um, like replace a AC compressor or something don't let that stuff out in the air because that's that's illegal here in the United States don't do that take it somewhere they'll they'll suck all that stuff out for you um, and then you can you can fill it up yourself once you get it done so there you go that's it um, you know when I had my shop I had you know all that stuff what it does it sucks it out and puts it into another can you can actually reuse that stuff so there's another way that I thought I was going to have to do, but I didn't have to do it. Uh, there's another way I can do it, but I'm not going to tell you how because it's not the right way. It's not illegal, but it's not the safest way to do it. So, anyway, guys, I'm good with that. I think she'll be good with it. It's pretty cold in here, so, yeah. Jumped up to 59. It's 58.9, so... Yeah, um, like I said, this thing will only go down to 60 degrees in here, so that should be all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, and bye-bye, guys. Take care.